the road to the six invitational battle pass is here, and with it, a few different items up for the grabs. But how long is it going to take you to complete this battle pass in its entirety and get all of its contents? Well, let's jump right into that. Before we talk about how long it's going to take, let's talk about what's in the battle pass and what it's going to cost you. If you do not have the season pass for Rainbow Six Siege, this is going to cost you 1200 R6 credits, or roughly $10, which is on par with the other battle passes and the various other games out in the market now. If you do have the season pass, it's going to cost you 840 R6 credits, so a slight discount for being a season pass owner. Throughout this 35 tier battle pass, you got varying cosmetic items such as weapon skins, charms, and uniforms, as well as a total of 600 R6 credits, 9 alpha packs, and 5 one day renown boosters. But how long is this thing going to take you? Well, it's going to take you a thousand points just to rank up one tier in this battle pass, and you can get points by playing games. You'll get 60 points for this pass if you win a round in a match you play. You'll get 100 points if you lose the full game, and 120 points if you win the game. You can gain an extra 25% if you are playing the ranked or unranked playlist. And if you happen to have the season pass, you'll get an extra 30% on top of all of that. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to be talking in what is essentially the best case scenario. We're acting as if you have played ranked, won every single game, and also owned the season pass. For the game I played, ranked, winning 5 rounds, netted me a total of 683 points towards this battle pass. So with a total of 683 points, we can then determine how quickly you're going to be able to actually rank up this thing. With 35 tiers, costing it about 1000 points for each tier, it's going to cost you about 34,000 points to max out this battle pass, being as you start at tier 1, so it's going to take 34,000. Now there are a few challenges you can actually complete to help level up the battle pass a little bit quicker. You have four personal challenges and the community challenge. Again, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be talking as if you completed those four personal challenges. Those challenges are marked at 850 points apiece, which will give you a total of 3400 points towards this battle pass. Essentially, leaving all you need to work with is 30,600 points in order to max out this thing. So, let's assume that you are winning every single ranked match you are playing, and you own a season pass. Let's say on average a ranked match takes about 25 minutes to complete. You're not completely whitewashing them, but it's not going back and forth and taking forever. So that's going to take you about 1,125 minutes. That's, again, at 45 25-minute matches. This is going to cost you about 18.75 hours. That's quite a lot. Let's say you guys are doing really good and you happen to win every single game and your ranked matches only last about 20 minutes. Well, that's going to take about 900 minutes or 15 hours. Again, this is a minimum. That's 15 hours in-game time. This is not talking about you guys waiting in the lobby, the pick to ban, everything in between. So all in all, it's going to take you quite a long time in order to actually complete the Road to the Six Invitational Battle Pass. And by the time of uploading this video, there's about 16 days left. So you're going to need to put in basically at least an hour in-game time each day until this Battle Pass ends to actually get the full value out of it. And even then, I don't really know if this Battle Pass is extremely worth it. A lot of the cosmetic items I'm not really too big on. I like the charm and the weapon skin that you get if you make it all the way to tier 35. But a lot of the other cosmetics uh, are just there for me. Um, they don't matter to me as much as some other people. Uh, you may really love the uniforms you can get out of this, so to each their own. Realistically, I don't think the battle pass is super worth it. it. It takes a long time to actually complete, as with most battle passes, and you're not actually getting more R6 credits than you put in back. Think of a game like Fortnite, where you're going to get probably about 1,000 uh, V-Bucks back through their 100-tier battle pass. Obviously, 100 tiers, it takes a lot longer, but their seasons are much longer, whereas this battle pass isn't for months at a time. So all in all, I think it's going to take you quite a long time in the perfect scenario just to get all tiers of this battle pass. Let me know if you guys think this is worth it down below. I hope you learned something new in this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!